Right, boys, here we go. <clears throat> this uh, little episode here I want to show you is um, basically how to lighten a fly wheel. Now, um, if you sort of come over this way a little bit, I'll show you. There's two fly wheels sitting here, right? And um, if you have a bit of a look at this one, this one's stocky. See, so that's exactly how you get a stock one, front and back. So um, the first thing I'll show you is the backs of them both. So um, here we go. Now, if you have a look on a stocky, you got this fucking big ring here. See that ring? That's um, there's a fair bit of weight in that. So what's happened here? If you have a look at this one, this one's uh, we knocked the ring off. See what I mean? Knock the ring off, come down on it, and it just saves a heap of weight. And let's not forget, see, what happens is with the weight, it's not just the weight you're talking about, it's how far out it is, the diameter, you know what I mean? Because the weight's out here, it's harder to fucking turn it. This one here will just spin up fucking heaps quicker, and um, and it'll be fucking right there. And I'll do that, I'll do that at least to fucking heaps of me floor wheels, you know what I mean? And this is one here that me mate done uh, for me, and it fucking it looks good, so... Yeah, that's the first thing you want to do. If you take it in and say, look, fucking um, knock the ring off the back. Do you know what I mean? Knock all this off. Get it looking like that. And you're fucking, you're on the money there. So, also, if you have a look at the front, they um, might look sort of similar at the first glance. But if you have a look here, it's sort of gone in on the angle. Do you know what I mean? And that just, um, in a way, it takes a little bit of weight off it. But the diameter's not fucking huge. Do you know what I mean? But you can get your socket and all that shit in there real nice and easy now on there. Because I don't know if you ever come across it. Sometimes you're going in here trying to get your socket in and it just feels like a bit fucking shitty angled and that. This way, it'll be fucking um, spot on into there. So the other thing too, if you have a look, it's been sort of machined across it, right? But not only that, if you have a look at this stocky one here. See the thickness of all that there? See all that thickness? That's all weight, do you know what I mean? So um, if you have a look at this one, I knocked the thickness down in half, do you know what I mean? And sometimes too, I went in half for this one, I thought, fuck it, I'll just go in half for this flywheel. But I do also go right up to the fucking, the um, the ring gear there, and just go straight down. So so basically the whole fucking flywheel is as thick as the ring gear, you know what I mean? It's just that thick all the way down, put the angle on it, and uh, you can get them down to about fucking six kilos. You know what I mean? This one here actually feels lighter. Yeah, it's definitely lighter. That's like more of a fucking dead weight, that one. Um, what I'm saying as well is <clears throat> that's this is what I do to the flywheels when I do them. You know what I mean? This is how I like to do it. I don't know what about, you know, can't you, depends who you talk to. People start going, oh, it's going to explode on you and fucking what are you doing and all this sort of shit and... Look, they might be right. I'm not too fucking sure. To be honest, all I know is that would, that's what I do to all of them. And I haven't had one fucking explode on me yet. Touch wood and all that fucking shit. But, and that's, that's what I'll keep doing to them as well. Fuck it. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to be spinning all this shit up. Like, if you're going to go get a machine, hit the cunt properly in them spots like I was showing you. The back. Get that big fucking ring off the back. Cut the cunt in half at the front. We'll go right to the fucking ring gear. Go in. Basically, you can go in as far as this. If you have a bit of a look here, I'll just drop this on. It's a new fucking clutch plate, right? So, um, you can see, basically there, you can see where it's been rubbing. If I pull that off, you can see, see? That's where it's been rubbing. So, you can go from there and just angle it straight into there. Do you know what I mean? I've done that before, too. And that takes about a fucking kilo off the cunt, just by pulling that piece out and having it angled, and still you've got full strength and everything. This one I didn't go as far, just come out a little bit and sort of fucking angled it. So the other thing I want to show you is, is this, if you can sort of come over this way, right, you'll have a look at um, this floor wheel here, and you'll see that there's a dowel in it, you know what I mean? Uh, what I've also done is drilled it out and tapped it when my mate done it for me, um, to go six bolt, you know what I mean? So now we've got two, if you have a look at the holes here, in this pressure plate, there's six now. And there's a dowel hole, see? So basically what happens is this goes on one way all the time. Put it over the dowel just like that. If you have a look at this side, it just goes on like that. The dowel, and then all the holes line up fucking mint. And what I'm getting that <clears throat> is then what I use is that's the part number there. They're, they're the pressure plate bolts that you want to use, right? And that's them there in the flesh, see? And I double washer them. 
like that, then they all bolt up in there, and you go, oh yeah, fucking no worries. Why I use these bolts here is because if you have a look right, they're double washered, and then if you have a look just after that, there's a little bit of sort of fat sort of shank. Do you know what I mean? And I double washer it, and if you have a look in here, there's sort of uh, X amount of depth, which is about the same as the depth left on that shank there. So when they go in and they lock in, the actual clutch can't do any of that shit. Do you know what I mean? Side to side like that, because the shank is holding it fucking exactly where it needs to be and the dowel's lined up so we know all the time it goes back on exactly the same way and it's locked in with the fucking with the shank there you know what i mean so um that's it because you can get other bolts and shit from the from the normal bolt joint and um it would just be the thread all the way up and the threads um yeah you know i mean it's, it's it's a little bit sloppy there but you can see that that shank does open up a little bit and go a little bit uh fatter and that locks in real fucking mint and and that and that's fucking fine there. So yeah, I just want to share that one with you too. And like you say, you got the part number. I'll just show you this again. That's the part number there to exactly what I use. You know what I mean? So um, if you go in and ask for them or go on eBay or whatever you want to do, Hemi Performance probably got them. Um, then then you're fucking set there. <clears throat> but why I've dialed it and got it all set so it always goes one way is because now what you want to do is balance it. Because you'd be surprised how far off they are. Do you know what I mean? How far out they are. Even on a stocky. So you can put your fucking pressure plate on. Oh, yeah, it all looks good, fucking whatever. And yeah, whatever, you get away with it. But you can balance them and it'll make the whole engine a lot smoother. So with this one, I'll just show you show you the back of this. And this is what happened. It needed to be uh, balanced like that. See them two holes that have been drilled there? And after drilling them, this come within perfect balance now. Because uh, it was actually out that little bit. Do you know what I mean? So now, go bang, hit the dowel, put it on, bolt it up with all them bolts there. Exactly, that's exactly how it got balanced. Do you know what I mean? Then go fucking bingo. And that there, we know when it spins up then, it just fucking, it's real mint. So, um, that's, yeah, that's what's happened. Um, you know, there might have even been a little bit of grind in here to balance it right. You know what I mean? You can sort of see there. And everything just like that. So once you get a spot on, you just know that this isn't going to, Contribute to any fucking vibration, which will help the whole thing last and just feel smoother and, and it'll just be a fucking mint thing. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I just want to sort of put that to you. Um, if you're sort of looking for that next level, like I say, you can run the three bolts. I run three bolts heaps. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, this build here, it's going into a fucking mad charger, all this sort of shit. So I thought, fuck it, we'll six bolt it and do all the fucking good fruit to it. And that'll be, um, that'll be fucking a perfect setup now. You know what I mean? And um, also, the other quick thing I'll say is um, by doing a standard flywheel like this and bringing it back to life in a real nice way, it's fucking heaps cheaper. Way cheaper than fucking, um, you know, like trying to fucking get a steel flywheel fuck around. And they're fucking heavier than this. Do you know what I mean? Unless you get a fucking real mad one, um, like what was on the back of fucking TF2 and shit like that, then um, you're up for a couple fucking grand there. This here... Um, to do all this, you probably get away with it for about a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? To machine it all, this, that, the other. Then, um, roughly that again to, to balance it all up. But you know, you got a fucking, a mad setup. You know what I mean? So, um, just, just keep that in mind. But, um, yeah, that's her, boys. I just wanted to show you that one because, you know, you might look at it and go, oh, what do I do? Should I fucking, shouldn't I? Whatever. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to you. But this is what I do to all of them. And, um, and that's her. So, yeah, fucking all good.